I'm Daniel Edmund. I'm Jack Norman. Uh, and we're Milk for Tea. Uh, we run a men's well-being and personal development organization uh, that works to help men find their truest identity, recognize their value, and live out their purpose for the benefit of all people. Uh, so one of our biggest aims is to help combat the male suicide rate in the UK, uh, which is currently the number one leading cause of death for men under 45. Uh, but along that, we also work to help better the experiences for women and members of the LGBTQ plus community um, and other community groups who are impacted by how men act. Yeah, um, so we've been on this journey for about three years. Um, we met in a very random setting and um, had a mutual interest that we wanted to do something. At first, we really didn't know what we wanted to do. Uh, and then have been on this journey ever since. So we first started off as a blog, just writing about our experiences um, and some of the issues that the male community faced from our eyes. We then uh, took a leap into fashion and uh, linked fashion with mental health. And then in January last year, we decided that we would fully put that, spin that on its head and um, create a series of workshops called Modern Masculinity. So we've been out in the field for the last 20 months, um, working in a variety of organisations, charities, corporates, universities, um, to deliver Modern Masculinity and hopefully better the well-being of the participants um, at those workshops. So we've had a really exciting year uh, this year. Uh, earlier in May uh, and most of June, we were in Jordan uh, delivering masculinity workshops for men and women out there. And also getting to travel around and speak to different people about masculinity, about gender rights and what that looks like uh, in that part of the world. Uh, and we love going outside of the country, outside of the UK, uh, and just speaking to different people. And it's so interesting how this conversation around masculinity is really a global discussion. And no matter what country we go to, People are discussing it, people are intrigued by it, um, emotionally connected to it. And so yeah, we love going outside, you know, um, kind of like the remit of the UK and, and just really exploring and speaking to people and connecting with people as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're currently in the middle of a five day campaign at Bournemouth University. So we worked here back in May, um, delivering workshops for uh, second and third year students. And our focus this time is on um, the freshers, so you know, just fresh off the boat into into university. Um, the university actually approached us about delivering something that we don't normally deliver, but we felt that we could deliver it in a really great and engaging way. So we're delivering sexual consent workshops, uh, substance awareness and substance abuse workshops, and general well-being tips. And we're now on day four and the final day tomorrow. How are you feeling? Feel good. Like it's been really good. Uh, it's, we love coming down to Bournemouth. It's probably one of our favorite jobs that we get to do. Um, we love Res Life and we surface and Sam's great and yeah, we just love coming down. The energy here is great. The people are great and it's just very serene and calm when we come down. Mm -hmm. Both of us, you know, live in you know decent-sized cities, so it's it's always nice to just come and kind of chill out a bit more. See the sea. See the sea as well. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's having worked with a variety of organisations as well. Um, and universities, it's really amazing to see that the guys down here really care about the well-being of yeah. their students. Um, there's a lot of great services that they already offer and it's amazing that they get us involved in delivering some of those as well um, because obviously that's what we specialise in. And then I say what we got moving forward. I mean, um, where, where, where should we start? Where should we start? So we're currently, uh, well we've just wrapped I'd say about a month or two ago, um, filming our first documentary, um, which is about masculinity. And so we're really excited about that. That'll be screening towards the end of the year. Um, and so yeah, that's been one of like, probably one of the bigger things that we've been working on. It's currently in post-production. So I have no idea when it's coming out. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is it called? Um, it's called Building Modern Men. And it's an exploration of masculinity um, and looking at how we can uh, looking at the positives and challenges of masculinity um, and uh, what ways, if any, um, there are to help men become more emotionally articulate uh, for everyone's benefit. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, it's a very transparent film. It's very honest. It's very true. Uh, it's very diverse. We speak to a diverse range of people um, and diversity is something we really honour and value at Milk for Tea. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, we're really looking forward to it and that's probably one of the things we have coming up towards the end of this year. Mm-hmm.
it's a lot of planning for next year as well. Yeah, I think for us, we've been like full steam ahead for the last 20 months. And uh, last year, we just threw ourselves into anything and everything that <laughs> spoke to us or kind of gave us a little glimmer of hope. This year's a little, been a little bit more strategic and uh, actually a lot more um, centered around the actual work that we feel will benefit um, a lot of organizations. So for us to then plan for the rest of the year to then make even more of an impact next year. Um, what we found is there's been uh, organizations that reach out to us and would like us to come in and do a workshop which is amazing for us to go and speak to the staff or the students but actually for us we're really passionate about making an impact and going into the organization and setting something up for them for, the, for a long um, period of time so they feel the best reward of the work that we're doing so it's not just we go in do one and then we move away so that's what we're planning for for next year and it's looking quite hopeful yeah we're excited yeah I mean, that's a good yeah. sign also i will be doing a talk at um Bourne, at afc bournemouth actually bring my dad along we're going to be talking about um the experiences that i had with um Growing up playing football for students, uh, sharing that for students at uh, the university as well on a stadium tour, so that'd be good.